Hi, this is Brandon I. Brooks, Managing Editor with the LA Sentinel Newspaper and the LA Watch Times Newspaper. We're here at the 48th Annual NAACP Image Award Red Carpet. I have an absolute star right here for you, Executive Producer and Director. I'm actually going to let her introduce herself. Please. I'm Senna Hamri, Executive Producer Director of Empire. Um, we're here for uh, Outstanding Drama Series again. And we're just happy to be at the NAACP Image Awards. This is such like a great day, but let's talk about this series, Empire. I tell people it's changed the whole scope of television. We see a lot more, as I like to call them, similar type of things coming out in the field. But tell us about your involvement with this and you know the creativity you bring to the project. Being executive producer and director, that's pretty much where it, it starts and stops. So tell us about you know your influence on that show and the creativity that you you know influx into it. Well, it's definitely a collaboration. I mean, Lee Daniels created the pilot, and I kind of had to go into his mind so I can carry on his vision and oversee the show in such a way so it remains authentic to what he created. Um, I feel that we're happy that it's changed the landscape. We know that because in essence, which I know to be a truth, is that we're not a minority, as people call minority. We're a majority, and that's the truth that is coming out, which is kind of ludicrous at this point because we have to be represented in media. I need to be able to see myself reflected on screen and not a lie that we're a minority. So that's why not only am I happy to be part of Empire, I'm happy to be here because that's part of my brand as a person. Um, I, th did you all hear that? That's, that's what we need to hear from more of our actors, actresses, and creators and directors in Hollywood. So let's stick on that diversity lane. Hollywood at right now, a lot of people, there's a lot of things the last few years, and it's been, you know, people aren't confident that we're moving in the right direction. You're an example of that direction and moving forward, but how do you feel about the landscape? Because some people say if it's not Empire, if it's maybe not two or three other shows, where are we? You know. So what do you have to say about diversity overall? And you know, wh where, where will we be in five to ten years or so? Well, where are we is where we want to be. It comes from within. So I try not to look at what other people are doing. I just try to remain authentic to the voices that are out there because everybody has to be represented equally. And it's not about being preachy or anything like that. So Empire, we're a show about a family of music. and. We happen to be diverse. It is what it is. I think that we have to keep pushing harder and not being afraid. I, I have to approach it fearlessly. And there are times when you wonder what you're doing and you just got to keep on going. If you, you, you cannot be a sheep. That's all I can tell people. And I just got to pick this brilliant mind a little bit more. Women want to be directors. Women want to get into this field. And a lot of people don't see persons like you in that just to be a woman. How, what advice do you give to that young writer, that director that says, I want to be like her when I grow up, or I want to be like her in a few years? What are the steps they need to take? What are the steps you take? Right, well, as a woman of color and also from another country, because I'm from North Africa, from Morocco, um, and um, I'm American as well, so Trump, please be careful. Um, <laughs> I, um, I feel like we, we have to do more. I, a lot of my mentors have been men. So I, I appreciate men just as much as women. And I think that we just have to lead by example. I am here and there's nobody else like me here. There will be more. And that's why I try to do events like this. I try to, you know, be out in the community as much as possible. It's important to know as a woman that you can still be a woman, still look like a woman, and do your job, you know? I always say, act like a lady. Think like a man, work like a boss. Wow, that was beautiful. And you look absolutely beautiful and you look like a boss too. Here we go. See the boss walk away, y'all. <laughs>